What's going on YouTube? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In my hand is the new Nokia 9 Pure View. Now we've seen smartphones with one lens, two camera lenses, three, four, but this one's got five camera lenses. I'm going to tell you all about it, what it's all about and how to use it, how to make the most out of this smartphone. So if you're looking to get one, you know exactly what to do. This smartphone can shoot black and white colors, you can even shoot in raw DNG as well, so you guys can edit it afterwards. So I'll even show you how to edit your photo in Lightroom once you've taken your photos. Let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing that you need to know first when operating the Nokia 9 PureViews camera is to change some of the settings to make sure you've got everything all set and ready to go. So if we just launch the camera app, uh, you see my background there in the camera app itself. So if you tap the corner there, first thing first, we go into settings and have a look at the settings that we have there already. So the Nokia 9 PureView is capable of shooting raw DNG format, which means you can then uh, take it into Lightroom, for example, and do some post-processing or even Snapseed if you like. Uh, so make sure you tap that on. And then if we go down to resolution as well, also make sure that I've got that at the maximum resolution possible here, which is 12 megapixel. And for the front facing camera, we've also got uh, 20 megapixels. So just turn those on so when you do like both feet, which I'll show you guys as well, uh, you'll be able to shoot at high resolution. So once you've done that, then come here to the top and then we see some of the options available here. So the ones that really matter for this video is this one here, for example, so you've got depth uh, mapping. So turn that on so you'll be able to do some adjustment to uh, what you want in focus and when you want out of focus. So you can adjust uh, the depth of focus between your foreground and the background afterwards as well. So once you've done that, just tap that on and that's the main things that you need to do. And then the options that you have at the bottom are the ones that pertains to what kind of photography you want to do. So you've got bokeh shots, great for uh, portrait shots if you want the background to be blurry as well. Uh, you got pro mode, which means you can then adjust things yourself. So you can adjust the, the, the white balance, the ISO, the shutter speed, and the exposure compensation, which is just right there. And just, you just scroll up and down to do what you need to do. Um, what else you got here? You got monochrome, again, for shooting black and white, true black and white color, uh, which is really good. This thing's got three monochrome sensors. So you'll be able to get some nice monochromatic shots uh, if you need to do so. I also like Square as well. Sometimes Square is great for shooting directly for Instagram, if that's what you want to do straight away. Uh, but going back here into photo, so up top you've also got dual mode, so if you do uh, picture in picture, if I just tap that, uh, you can see you've got dual, you've got picture in picture as well. So if I go dual mode, as you can see, you can see both of us, so hello there, uh, you can see both of us. If I do picture in picture, uh, you can have me in the top corner and everything else in the main view. So that's the, those are the main things I need to show you on here. So on to the next bit, I'll show you some shots uh, that I took with the Nokia 9 Pure View, including monochromatic ones and the colored ones. This is the first shot that I took, which I really like. This is King's, King's Cross part of London. And what you can see is the highlights are overblown in the sky. You can't really see the blue anymore. And the mirror effect has actually has gone as well, which is what I was trying to go for. So what I've done here is export into Lightroom Mobile, which is a free application, uh, but you, you might have to sign up for the Lightroom CC package and stuff. But here I was able to adjust the lighting, the exposure, control the contrast, the whites as well, uh, and control the highlights so I can preserve some of this. Again, because it shoots in raw DNG format, I was able to save all these details and not worry about it exactly when I was taking that picture at all. I can just take that shot and then worry about editing it later. And then what I then do is go into my temperature as well. So in temperature, I can adjust the warmth of the image. I can use uh, color mixing. I can go to my blue areas and adjust that blue sky. So it's a lot more blue, it, you know, it brings out that blue sky, which I really love. There's something about saturation and color vibrancy that people love when you post on Instagram. So I tend to do this with my shots. And here's the before and after, so you can see what I've done here. Again, it's not for everyone's preference, the way that I edit, but for me, I think it looks way better than it was before or when it was originally shot. Next up is this shot that I really like as well because it demonstrates the dynamic range that's been preserved by the DNG format and the five camera lenses in action here. So again, chuck this into Lightroom. We do some editing process here where we bring out those dynamic range right at the end of the building if you look straight ahead. So what I want to achieve here is try and preserve the shadows in the foreground so it looks very, very much moody in the foreground. But when you look right through the window, through that door, right to the end, you can then see that yellow truck passing by. You can see that pup. You can see the, the building far ahead a bit more. And then you can see the sky color as well. You'll be able to bring that down, make sure everything looks nice and sharp and clean. So after that, we end up and result in something like this. So you can see the before and the after and the end result, which looks really nice again, in my opinion. The blue skies are there. Uh, the yellow pops on the truck. It kind of directs your vision into that tunnel vision of what I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to achieve here, which is that archway looking through to those building and the atmosphere, what's happening with that guy, 
with this forklift, just kind of dragging it across there. Another shot here that we can see here is a fun one. So again, I like to mess around with my colors and just change things around a little bit for Instagram purposes only. Uh, please forgive me. So what happens here is I've then chucked it again into Lightroom. I've changed some of the color settings, like the, the hue, the, the luminance and the saturation colors here and there. I've done my HSL. Uh, so I can arrive at something that's a little bit more like this. So you can see the before and after, you can see the differences there. Again, I prefer the new one. It means it's more, it's more Instagram-like, if you know what I mean. But again, there's nothing wrong with sharing the original if you prefer it like that or editing it your way to make it look uh, a lot more different. Next is this awesome building, St. Paul's uh, Cathedral. So if you go to Madison's uh, Bar, uh, before you go up, you can see, if you look back behind you, you can see this amazing building. So you can change the colors as well. Again, I'm mixing it up here, making it look more summery with the colors uh, so it doesn't look too dull because of the shadows in the foreground. And then you've got a highlight right at the end and the dynamic range. Again, because it's in raw format, I'm able to change this around, modify the highlights and everything. So you can see the reflection on the two side glasses and it looks a lot nicer, I, I like to think so. So here's the end result. To demonstrate that bokeh effect or depth mapping effects that you can use here, I took a picture of this flower, uh, but what you can do is after the effect, after the fact, you can then go into settings and change a few things. So to really demonstrate this, I went into the camera settings and choose, I chose the color pop uh, filter. And what this allows me to do is actually demonstrate to you guys how much of details uh, this thing collects in the sense that you're able to then change the mapping, the depth between the foreground and the background to show how much it differentiates the foreground and the background here. So if you're looking at this flower, you can see the black and white detail with the green and then the red color in the flowers there. So you can see the detail there, which looks fantastic when you do these kind of things. Um, you, again, you can adjust it any way you like. So if you look at the picture here, if you do the settings at the bottom, you can then see the depth option there, so which allows you to control how blurry the background is versus the foreground you can adjust that as well as much as you like. And you can see here the colors are picking up as I'm moving around, changing the depth of the actual pictures there. So again, the color picking is moving along with it. So I can move that forwards or backwards. If I want everything in color, I can do so as well, which means everything's in focus uh, in, this, in this case. I can change the foreground settings, how blurry I want it to be, which allows me to get a bit more detail into the flowers, or I can just leave it as it is, which is, I think is preferably better. And then adjust that depth and then resulting in something like this, which looks fantastic. And scrolling around the image when I enlarged it, just zoomed in a little bit, you can see the difference the, between how it differentiates the color between even the green parts of the plant to the flower. And you can see that red flower just popping out really nice. Again, you can still take this out into editing apps and do anything you want. Maybe make that green in the leaf a little bit greener. If you want, you can adjust that as well. Finally, we have a monochrome shot of the St. Paul's Cathedral from this uh, view here, which is awesome as well. So this is the original shot, which is then imported into Lightroom Mobile uh, for me to, to adjust some of the, the light in here. So what I want to do is bring out the shadows a little bit more. So I want the highlights to be blown out a little bit more because I don't want to preserve that in a black and white shot. I want it to look very captivating. So the building is the main focus in shot here. So I want that to look very moody and black and white shows it could almost pass as a really old picture if you really want to go for that look here. So again, tapping my curves, I can adjust the, the lows, the mids and the height as well. So like I can, I can still have that detail there without losing too much detail. Again, thanks to DNG raw format and the five lenses, I'm able to do this and adjust, you know, even the detail in the top of the dome of the building at the top there, as you can see, I can adjust that accordingly. Because it's monochromatic, I can't adjust uh, things like temperature and stuff, but I can just, I don't need to touch that. What I need to really touch is the light in here. And, and then we arrive at this image here, which looks very striking. It's not too uh, washed out looking. It's much better my taste of what I want it to look like. And for a bonus picture, here is Batman shot in Boko mode. So this allows you to shoot this nice portrait mode with the background is nice and blurry. Uh, you can't really see anything. You can just about make out what it is, but it draws your focus and attention on the subject itself. And it, it just collects enough detail to make sure that the edges are really accurate and it looks really nice and eye pleasing. So that's it for the Nokia 9 Pure View, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a new video on this channel. Guys, let me know what you think of the smartphones as well in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.